Hi everybody, it's Miss Grace from the Robbinsville branch and today I'm going to show you how to make a turkey rocket. But first we're going to talk a little bit about physics. Isaac Newton has three laws of motion and the third law of motion states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And this is how rockets blast off into outer space and the same principles are going to apply to the rocket that we make today. So first, let's try turning our bodies into a rocket ship. So everybody, I want you to stand up and we're gonna count down from five and on blast off, we're gonna jump up. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! So when we just blasted off, something happened. Our legs pushed down on the ground and the ground pushed back on our bodies and pushed us up and that's how we jumped. The force, a force is a push or a pull of our legs on the ground had an equal and opposite reaction, it pushed us up um, from the force of the ground. All right, we're gonna try that again and we're gonna think about our legs pushing on the ground is what's pushing our bodies up off the ground. All right, we'll count down from five, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! So when a rocket ship blasts off into outer space, that same thing is happening. The rocket is emitting gas and exhaust out the bottom of the rocket ship, and then that is propelling the rocket upward. All right, and we're gonna see the same thing happen today with our balloon rockets where the air is gonna come out the back of the balloon, but the rocket is going to go in the opposite direction. For the turkey balloon rocket, you will need a piece of paper, markers, a straw, a clothespin, string, a balloon, and tape. Okay, everybody, I went ahead and I made a simple handprint turkey. You could make a turkey look however you like. I used my hand, I traced my hand, and then I decorated it with markers and cut it out. After that, I set up my string. So you can see there are two chairs and a string between the two of them, connecting them. And I also attached a straw in the middle of the string. The straw goes through the string. I cut the straw in half and then I put that there because that is what our balloon rocket is going to attach to on our runway. All right, the next step is to blow up your balloon. Okay. I blew up my balloon and I used a clothespin to tie off the end of the balloon. That really helps you um, to be able to attach the turkey. If you don't have a clothespin at home, just pinch it with your fingers to stop the air from coming out. And I'm going to tape my turkey on next. So I'm taping my turkey onto the balloon with the back of the turkey lining up with the back of the balloon so that my turkey goes in the right direction. Next, you're going to go use tape to attach the straw to the, the other side of the balloon to blast off your turkey. So I have a couple pieces of tape. This is what the back looks like. The front. I'm going to pull it back all the way. Thanks for making turkey rockets with me today. This is a very simple activity to do at home. You could even do it without the turkey attached or you could turn your balloon into the turkey and not use paper and actually attach feathers or draw a face directly onto the balloon. And just remember that as the air came out the back of the balloon, the balloon went in the opposite direction. It went forward. I'll see you next time.